You want me to do what, Dilly? Sit. Sit where? Right here. Can you tell me how I'm going to fit there? How you want me to fit there, Daddy? Right here. Huh? Right here. Hey, say hello to everybody, Dilly. Hello, everybody. Say, Dilly, I. I. Dylan James for David. Dave. Will one day. One day. B.A. B.A. Great leader, Pop. Hey. Uh, High five. High five, Dilly. Tico, you no, want to do it? No. Tico is pretty serious focus right now building. The word unity is a very, very powerful word, unity. I think there's three countries out there that start with the word united. Uh, whether it's United Arab uh, Emirates or United Kingdom or United States of America. There's something very powerful about the word unity, united. When a country is united, you advance. When a family, when these two boys are united, it's peaceful. When they're not united, this house feels like a hurricane hit us. When they're not united. It's Sunday early in the morning, and if you have kids, you know kids are 24-7. They're not 9 to 5. You don't have shifts with kids. From the moment they wake up, they want you to, you know, do anything and everything for them. They're constantly asking for things. They constantly need to be watched. But this morning I woke up and last night we went to sleep late. My wife, first time in nine years, she surprised me. Baby, you did good. And we went to dinner, nothing big. My birthday's coming up on the 18th. So we went to dinner, October 18th. We went to dinner and uh, at dinner she gave me a card and then it was concert tickets to Mark Anthony, which it doesn't take a lot to please me. You don't need to buy me clothes because only I know what type of clothes I like. You don't need to buy me shoes because only I know what kind of shoes I like. I like surprises. I like things that matter, artwork, things that have a meaning behind them, good books, old vintage books. Anyways, so we slept very late and kids woke us up this morning and I'm up out here. They want to jump around, do all this stuff. And I was thinking about values and principles. I think so many times we make a list of goals. You know, we want a big house. Right now we're looking at a house to buy that's it's a big house. And this is a pretty big house already. It's nearly 10,000 square feet, but uh, we think about a house, we think about cars, we think about toys, we think about jewelry. Some of us, not all of us, but you know, the finer things in life, the nicer restaurants to go to, nicer places to go to. Uh, maybe fame, maybe prestige, maybe respect maybe recognition, maybe validation. All those things matter and there's nothing wrong with any of those things mattering to you. Sometimes some people want to knock a part of it that matters to you while the part of it that doesn't matter to them and they feel they're superior to you. Don't let anybody fool you. If something drives you, you go get it. It's your business, not anybody else's business. But, but, I will tell you, one of the reasons why very few dreams and goals become a reality is because we live life so fast that we don't take a moment to uh, find out what values and principles we want to live by. I think it was seven years ago where I was in Hawaii and I woke up, told my wife, I said, you'll scrub a paper and pen. And I just started making a list of values and principles that I live by. And I think we came out with 40 something names and 40 something lists. And then from there, the 40-something went to the top five, and then the top three, and then, you know, these guys showed up out of nowhere. Um, but values and principles, Pop, are very critical because values and principles, if you stick to them, they will be as loyal to you, increased the faith your spirit has and the words that come out of your mouth and the more you compromise your values and principle the more you're disrupting the momentum that you're having in your business which prevents you from having an explosion see it all fits together values and principles being compromised is what disrupts every other aspect of your life um, and you know what is it to have all the money in the world you gotta have all the money in the world and enjoy it 
with the people that matter the most to you. So I started the video with the word unity because unity is a very, very strong word. United, a very, very strong word. Uh, my suggestion to you would be to make a list of your values and principles and ask yourself which ones you're going to live by and do whatever you can to not compromise them and not let others compromise it unless if they need improvements and adjustments but not something that if it needs to be completely compromised you'll have a lot of battles internal battles and you don't want that so for me this goes back in the military when in September of 1997 um, I started praying and asking for four things courage wisdom tolerance understanding courage wisdom tolerance understanding I need courage to not be afraid to lead other people and, and, and challenge them and put myself in positions that I may have fear but have courage wisdom to help make the right choices and uh, tolerance to know that I'm dealing with the product which is human beings that change regularly more than the weather does and then understanding because everyone's different and if you can't sit there and try to understand people for the position they're in and the situation they're in and you're putting everybody in the same box and one it's unfair and two you can't get the most out of people if you think everybody is the same everybody ticks in a different way everybody's driven by different things typically we have similarities we want to be somebody we want to do something special but we're driven by different things so understanding helps you in dealing with other people my kids are very different Tico demands respect. I mean, he is like expecting it from you from the day that kid was born. Dylan's a charmer, you know, easygoing, playful, always smiles. My reviews with him, with his teacher, is different than my reviews with Tico's teacher. But I have to do my best to try to understand both of them. And then God throws me a curveball and gives me a daughter named Santa Rose, and she's going to be completely different than these guys. So, courage, wisdom, tolerance, understanding. It's a rant. Today's a rant. It's a Sunday. This is not a anything about your business, but for the sake of Sunday, I hope this message gives you some kind of guidance in any part of your life, not related to business, any other thing that's going to help you get a bit more clarity. I'm just telling you what I've done. God knows I've made a lot of mistakes, but... These thoughts have helped me to minimize my own internal battles that I've had all my life, okay? Make it a good day, everybody. Take care. Bye-bye.